Hey, I want to give you a history lesson today. Uh, this is Doug Dane, and this is a daily tip from my book, uh, Mistaken Identity. Uh, your mistaken identity is likely uh, holding you back or, or causing problems in your life or causing you to make mistakes in your life that's uh, getting in your way, and you know that you could be doing better, and you do absolutely do deserve better. So uh, here's a tip for you. Um, I was, uh, this history lesson, I, I was reading a, a book the other day and something prompted me to take a look at another book um, by literally uh, the probably one and only, the best person ever been in the personal development industry. Nobody's come along uh, any better than him and that man's name was, was uh, Dale Carnegie. And he wrote a book, two great books, how to win friends and influence people and um, how to stop worrying and start living. And so I was thinking about his book and so I went to my bookshelf uh, to uh, to pull it out and uh, uh, I couldn't find that book, but there was a book that was put together. Uh, it was called How to Enjoy Life in Your Job. I bought that book in the 80s. It was $5.95 back then. And it was basically a compilation of uh, excerpts from How to Win Friends and Influence People and How to Stop Worrying and start living. I said, I gotta read this book again. So I, I took the book, put it beside my bed, and I went to bed, uh, was, I guess it was on Tuesday night, and uh, I, I opened up the first chapter, which was an excerpt from How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. And the very first chapter, basically, I forget the exact title, I, I meant to bring the book with me here, but essentially it said, the first chapter was, you just gotta be yourself. And I started to read on and I thought to myself, man, oh man. And he said, you know, this idea of people trying to be somebody they're not has been a problem, you know, all through history. And he said, by doing that, you cause all kinds of problems, all kinds of psychoses, neuroses, and complexes. Now, listen, that, that book was published in 1934, okay? Carnegie spent the early part of the early 1900s in the personal development space. 1934, that book came out. And that lesson that's in that book about being yourself. And we still haven't got it right. You know, it's almost 100 years later that that book was published. Um, definitely 100 years since Carnegie was teaching that concept. And yet we still haven't got it right. And, you know, through our current mental health care system and the personal development space and the shelf health space and all that stuff. You know, there's all kinds of information out there, but fundamentally, uh, you gotta just be yourself. In my book, Mistaken Identity, I talk all about that. The problem is, is that we have a mistaken identity. We're mistaken about ourselves. We have mistaken beliefs. Uh, we have a mistaken concept of ourselves, and it causes us to make mistakes in our life or uh, think that there's something wrong with us. And it causes, like Carnegie said 100 years ago, neuroses, psychoses, complex, all kinds of problems. And one of the chapters of my book is all about just being yourself. And it's a hell of a lot easier to be yourself. Uh, you'll calm down. You'll enjoy life more. One of the reasons you're struggling, uh, whether you're struggling in your relationships or you're struggling in your career or you're busy, you think you can just be doing better, um, you're going to continue struggling until you rid yourself of your mistaken identity. So what I try to do is get people to first off, learn what is your mistaken identity? Um, how did you get it? What is yours? And then you need to unlearn and uh, basically identify, uncover, discover uh, all these components of this mistaken identity. So you unlearn them and then you relearn and you basically create your own rules to, to live by and you actually end up you actually meet your true self by getting rid of your mistaken identity. So I think it'd be a good idea to take Dale Carnegie's uh, message and lesson that I'm giving you here. And that is just to be yourself because a hell of a lot easier to be yourself than striving and straining and trying, trying to be somebody that you're not. Thank you.